In solid-state physics, the valence band and conduction band are the bands closest to the Fermi level and thus determine the electrical conductivity of the solid. The valence band is the highest range of electron energies in which electrons are normally present at absolute zero temperature, while the conduction band is the lowest range of vacant electronic states. On a graph of the electronic band structure of immaterial, the valence band is located below the Fermi level, while the conduction band is located above it. Band gap. In semiconductors and insulators the two bands are separated by a band gap, while in semi-metals the bands overlap. A band gap is an energy range in a solid where no electron states can exist due to the quantization of energy in quantum mechanics. Electrical conductivity of nonmetals is determined by the susceptibility of electrons to excitation from the valence band to conduction band. Electrical conductivity. Semiconductor band structure. See electrical conduction and semiconductor for a more detailed description of band structure. In solids, the ability of electrons to act as charge carriers depends on availability of vacant electronic states. This allows the electrons to increase their energy when an electric field is applied. This condition is only satisfied in the conduction band as the valence band is full in non-metals. As such, the electrical conductivity of a solid depends on its capability to flow electrons from valence band to conduction band. Hence in case of a semi-metal with an overlap region the electrical conductivity is high. If there is a small band gap then the flow of electron from valence to conduction band is only possible if an external energy is supplied in these groups with small e.g. are called semiconductors. If the e.g. is sufficiently high then flow of electron from valence to conduction band become negligible under normal conditions. These groups are called insulators. There is some conductivity in semiconductors, however, this is due to thermal excitation. Some of the electrons get enough energy to jump the band gap in one go. Once they are in the conduction band, they can conduct electricity, as can the hole they left behind in the valence band. The hole is an empty state that allows electrons in the valence band some degree of freedom.